Welcome back to the show and let's focus on some of the equity market deals which has been a big trend for the year 2023 as well. Let me welcome on the show Vishal Mahadevia of Warburg Pinkers. Vishal, it's a great day to join us on CNBC TV 18. We are celebrating our 25th birthday and it's a good day for you. You've made uh, three exits in this particular week, um, capitalizing on the run-up that we have seen in the equity markets. Over 5,000 crores worth of shares being sold from some of your portfolios portfolio companies which have been very long-term investments. It looks like an end of an era for Bharti Airtel, CAMS and even IDFC First in which you hold only a minority stake. So Vishal, first let's uh, begin with this equity share sale and how Indian markets are providing exits to private equity firms. Yeah, so firstly, happy birthday Nisha to the entire CNBC TV 18 team. It's fantastic. 25 Thank years, you. it's a great milestone. Uh, on the Thank equity you. markets, uh, you know this, you know our business model. I think most of our viewers know it. We are fiduciaries for our investors and we're always uh, in a position where we will continue to invest more and more into India, but at the same time, uh, return money back to our investors in businesses where we've been involved and we've helped build them uh, and hopefully been part of something really successful, which you can say about all three of these companies, whether it's a CAMS, an IDFC First Bank and a part of the Airtel. So we're really thrilled and uh, uh, thrilled that it's happening on the 25th birthday of CNBC TV 18. Yes, thanks for that, uh, Vishal. So let's uh, talk about all these three companies, the investors who have really now come in and bought your shares. What is the growth uh, prospect that they are really looking at? Let's begin with IDFC first. That has a management change also announced today. And you have been with this particular company when it became a bank. And private equity players actually look for a piece of the banks. So why this exit at this time? And what is the potential for which the other investors have come in for? Yeah, uh, look, I th uh, on all three of these, but let me go one by one. I think the bank, it's just a fantastic story. Uh, I think you'll recall we had sold some of our shares even a quarter ago uh, to uh, GQG, a terrific new name to come back on the shareholder table. Uh, we've been associated since Capital First, if you go back 2012. It's been more than 12, uh, almost 12 years since we were invested in there and less than a billion dollars today, it's 20 billion of AUM, double digit ROE, fantastic management team, credit to Vaidyanathan and his team. It's a real institution. And I was thrilled that we took our part in helping build the bank. And so I think it's gonna to continue to make money. I think it's gonna to continue to grow personally. Uh, uh, I feel very good. Uh, however, having been here 12 years as a private equity fund, it is incumbent on us to also bring in the next set of shareholders, exit responsibly and return that money to investors. And that's exactly what's happened uh, with the bank. That's right. And what about Bharti Airtel, a very, very long stay by an investor in that company, which also is not the type of investment that most of the private equity makes in a large nifty 50 company. But why an exit, complete exit, and especially when telephony is moving towards the digital potential and the growth prospects there? Yeah, so I, look, I'll make an overall comment about all three companies. I wish if it was my personal money, I would like to hold on to them forever. Uh, just I, I've been involved and we've been involved at Warburg Pinkus with these companies for so long, but Bharti Airtel, terrific future in front of it. Uh, I really wish the company the best. I, I think you mentioned it, it's a nifty 50 stock. It's not really what we as private equity do. Uh, the ownership in Bharti Airtel, uh, we go back almost 25 years to right. our first investment. Uh, what we've done here is really a result of shares that we got when we sold uh, uh, our stake in the DTH business back to the company. And as an FT50 stock, good investors coming in, it felt like the right time as we were getting to your end to uh, right. sell the balance. I just want to remind about... you, Nisha, we sold, we sold yes. part of our, half our stake six months ago at 800 rupees a share. And those investors yes. are really happy and that they should be, it's a win-win. That's right, win-win for both the new investors and you getting an exit. But quickly tell me uh, about the investments for this particular year, you'll be clocking in over $1 billion of investments as well. What are the themes that you're looking at which is close to your heart for investments for future? And how much are you going to invest in the next year, Vishal, from Overwork Pinkus? Yeah, it's hard, well, it's hard to predict next year. I mean, this year we'll, have, we'll be, I think, investing and committing close to 10,000 crores into Indian companies. And uh, 
uh, that's a billion to call it. Uh, and uh, essentially themes around financial services. We invest in a company called Vistar, fantastic business backing uh, Avijit Saha, uh, who's formerly from ICICI Bank. We invested in Watertech, uh, which is uh, consumer household fittings and appliances. Uh, we've invested in Everize, which is uh, in the healthcare BPO business. And uh, we're close to uh, uh, finalizing a last investment in the healthcare space. All themes that we are focused on and we continue to invest in. Your question's a tough one only because I'm really very bullish on India. We at Warburg think this are really bullish on India. You look at where we sit today, what the next decade right. brings. So the easier question to answer is what are you not looking at, which is because there's opportunities everywhere. Right. Uh, Vishal, thanks so much for your bullish commentary on India investments and more investments to really be pumped in by Warburg Pinkus uh, for the next year as well. And Vishal, also many congratulations now uh, being uh, the Asia head at Warburg Pinkus. Uh, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, Nisha. Good to see you. All right, uh, so that was uh, Vishal Mahadevia from Warburg Pincus. Over 5,000 crore rupees of shares sold, but over a billion dollars of investments lined up for next year. It's time for a short break on the show, but Manisha Gupta will be joining in with commodities on the other side. Stay tuned.